Good morning, everybody. This is Chris from Moxie Dory. Um, my kids are in camp this week, so I have a little bit of extra time to play with some ideas that I've had, and I wanted to show you one this morning. It's um, creating a books to read collection layout that's really fun um, using a brush pen and our mandala maker. So I'm going to start by putting the mandala maker on the page so that there's one row above it and one row below it. I'm going to use my brush pen to go around the outside to give my book a thicker edge. And I'm going to start and stop at the uh, tick marks located sort of in the center of the, the mandala maker. Next I'm going to use a pencil and just make a note as to where the center of the mandala maker falls because I'm going to use that later when I draw my page corners. So the center dot is there so I'm just going to lift my stencil and put a little center dot and I'm actually going to go down to the bottom and put a similar center dot at the bottom. Next I want um, some rounded corners at the top of my book so I'm going to flip my stencil over and do this. And I'm going to stop two rows or two columns rather in from the edge of the book like that. Now I'm going to switch to a pencil temporarily and I'm going to draw along the top arc of the mandala maker. That's going to give me a guide for the top of my pages. And then in order to make the, give myself a guide for the bottom of my pages, I'm going to slide the mandala maker down until the top edge lines up with the line that I made uh, the top of my book. And you can see I have one row between the notch and the bottom of my book. Next, I'm going to use the fine end of my brush pen. And I'm going to do every two rows. And you could do every one row if you have really tiny um, handwriting. But I don't. So I'm going to give myself some room. And you're going to connect this point on the guide to this point, like this. And then slide two columns over. And do it again. And I'm going to do that all the way across. Next, I'm going to create the um, page edges in my book. So first I'm going to do the bottom edge and then I'm going to do the top. The bottom edge starts here and ends with the bottom guide point that you made earlier with pencil. Next. I'm going to use the other center point that I made with my pencil earlier and I'm going to connect it with the top corner of each page. When I do that, I'm going to stop at the next page. So I don't go all the way down. I just go from here to the next line and stop. Next. I can erase all my guides and here is my finished product with my header and a few book titles added.